All right, I'm going to kind of show you what's going on here with the, uh, the lead FTS teardrop strap, why I have two different loops on here. Um, suppose I don't need my belt for this. Well, anyhow, before I do my set, here's the deal. <laughs> with a regular push-down strap, you're only going to be able to get so far because the strap alone is not going to be able to allow you to pull out to get a full contraction with the tricep. By having a longer strap at the end range, we can now get all the way out here. The problem with this is for most guys, or girls, or most anybody who's got a bicep, <laughs> you have a really hard time getting the top range because the forearm jams into the bicep and just because of the way that most straps are built. So all you're gonna really be able to get is the end range of most straps, but with most of them, you're only gonna be able to get here. With ours, you're gonna be able to pull it way out. The negative is you're not gonna be able to get that top beginning range. The top loops are shorter to be able to get your hands up higher to get that full stretch to allow for a greater range of motion. But the negative here is you're not gonna be able to get, I can only pull out to here. So what I'm gonna do in this set is you're gonna see I'm gonna use both straps. It's gonna be done as a superset to be able to work the full length of the muscle. So I had full range of motion, end range at the bottom, top, end range, or start range at the top without any of them being completely full because of the way that the strap's designed. I'm old school, I like to train everything to failure. So I don't know how many reps. Just go until you can't do any more. Go to the other strap. I'm more partial to starting with the bottom strap first and finishing with the top strap. It doesn't make any difference. That's why we have two loops. <laughs> 